After studying this module, you shall be able to know the population size of older people in different regions of world. Describe changing structures of population, identify birth rate, mortality rate and life expectancy in different countries of world. Evaluate how lower birth rate and mortality rate influencing the world economy or suitability of present policies in today's context. Also, you will be able to understand how to apply the demographic knowledge in planning, budgeting and policy formation. Introduction of this chapter Aging is an inevitable process. All the countries of world are growing. The rapidly decreasing rate of mortality and fertility has posed a challenge of increasing older population worldwide. This chapter is an attempt to understand the distribution of aged population on the basis of birth rate and mortality rate, dependency and sex ratio, life expectancy and change in age structure because these factors change the shape of any society. Greying of the world population The population across the world has been severely affected by the low birth rate in developed nations and relatively high life expectancy rate in developing countries. In world, the population aged between 0 to 4 years is 65 crore 36 lakh 93147 and population aged over 65 years is 60 crores 12 lakh 50,877. By 2025, a lot of baby boomers bring silver tsunami turn into the grey bird. According to United Nations, as shown in the figure below, the world population of older people, which was 8% in 1950, will become 22% by the end of 2050. Surprisingly, the increased life expectancy has brought drastic changes within the aged population. Older people who are aged 80 and above are growing by 3.8% is twice the growth rate of older people aged 60 and above. India is comparatively young nation with more than 50% population below the age of 25 and 65% below the age of 35. It is estimated that in 2020, the average age in India will be 29 as compared to China and Japan where average age will be 37 and 48 by 2030 respectively. According to the report of Institute of Economic Growth, the population of people aged 65 and above will reach to 76 million by 2020 from 58 million in 2010. The growth of people aged 80 plus is higher than other sectors of aged population. Now let's see at the birth rate and mortality rate. Birth rate, it is the ratio of total live births to total population in a specified community or area over a specified period of time, often expressed as the number of live births per 1000 of the population per year. Globally, the birth rate increases in proportion to death rate and mortality rate or death rate is the measure of number of deaths in a particular population scaled to the size of that population per unit of time. Birth rate 37 per 1000 people is twice of the death rate 19.1 per 1000 people in 1950 to 1955. However, the difference is projected to be reduced from 14.4 to 9.9 .9 by 2050 to 2055. There are number of factors which are responsible for decrease in birth rate worldwide, such as high cost of rearing a child, immigration, nuclear families, participation of women in workforce, low social support during pregnancy, contraceptive pills, late marriages, etc. Some government policies are also become reason for the slow birth rate.
For example, China's imposition of one-child policy reduced the birth rate. Now let's discuss the life expectancy because along with birth rate and death rate, life expectancy is also an important issue which is affecting the process of demography. Life expectancy refer to the number of years a person is expected to live on the basis of a statistical average. Life expectancy varies by geographical area and by era. In the bronze era, for example, life expectancy was 26 years, while in 2010, it was 67 years. With the advancement of technology and medical sciences, people are expected to live longer than before. Increase in awareness of healthy lifestyle, medical facilities, healthy and friendly environment, good sanitations and hygiene. People are living longer lives than they were living previously. There are many countries today also which are having large number of sanitarians. As per the survey done by Department of Economic and Social Welfare worldwide, prospects 2012, Korea and Japan are going to have highest population of older people as compared to other nations of the world. The population of US is also showing a slow increase when compared to other nations of Europe. European population which was 40 in 2010 and will increase up to 50 by 2050 in their life expectancy. This demography of population will be an advantage for the economic growth of US. However, the median age of population of Brazil and Argentina is 7 to 11 years younger than the US population. But in 2050, the projected median of Brazilians is 44 years of age. Mexico is 42 years. It shows that US will be younger than other European nations. The median age of US population was 37 in 2010 and expected to grow up to 41 by 2050. In Asia and Middle East populations, it is also growing faster and median age is increasing rapidly. The median of South Korea, which was 38 in 2010, will turn into 53 in 2050. Japan, who has the highest number of older population, is expected to show increase in median age by 10 and projected to have 53 as a median age in 2050. The similar median age is projected for nations like Germany, Italy, Spain. Germany, the median age is 51 in 2050. For Italy, it is 50 years and for Spain also it is 50 years. However, China is expected to be younger with median age of 46 as compared to these nations in 2050. India with the population of 1.2 billion is relatively younger than many European Asian countries with the mean age of only 25 in 2010 which will increase up to 37 in 2050. However, other nations such as Nigeria, Kenya and South Africa, they are expected to be youngest among all. But if we look at the proportion of population of older people, the number are quite scary. India, who is poised to be quite young nation, will have 12.7% population of older people. Currently, 100 million people in India are aged 60 and above. The proportion of aged population in China is 23.9%, Japan is 36.5%, US is 24.4%, Germany is 32.7%, and Spain shows highest among European nations with 34.5% share of older people. But Japan is the oldest nation among all the nations of the world. Let's discuss the dependency ratio because when we talk about the aged population, we are talking about the dependent population at the same time because dependency and old age, they go simultaneously. The old age dependency ratio 
is defined as the number of people aged 65 and older per 1000 people of working age that is ages 15 to 64. The child dependency ratio is the number of children younger than 15 per 100 people of working age. We are discussing the child dependency ratio here because child children are also dependent population and when we are discussing the dependent population then we should consider both child population as well as the older population. Finally, the total dependency ratio is the overall number of dependents that is people younger than 15 or older than 64 per 100 people of working age. The major implication why we are discussing this dependency ratio, the major implication for this is the rapidly growing population aging is the lesser say of younger people in economic and financial growth. The population aged between 80 to 60 years is the working population in all nations, but a decrease in the working population will affect the economic growth of countries. Globally, India, Kenya, Nigeria, South Africa, these nations are the countries where dependency rate will decrease in 2050 when compared with 2010 because they are having more younger population as compared to older population. However, in most of the countries including US, Brazil, Germany, Russia, France, Britain and China, Japan is heading the world with highest expected dependency rate of 96 and followed by Spain at number 2 with dependency rate 94. Now let us look at the sex ratio also of older people. The sex ratio is described as the number of older men per 1000 older women. The sex ratio declines in the world in past 50 years. It was 61 in 1950, 58 in 1975 and 53 in 2000 for people aged 60 and above. In 2000, there were 81 men per 100 women and this ratio is projected to increase in 2050. Globally, there were 63 million more women of age 60 and above than males of the same age group. The mortality rate is lower among females as compared to males. That is why the older females, especially 80 and above, are larger in number than males. The gender disparity is quite high in developed regions. That is, 71 men per 100 women aged 60 and above in developed regions. However, this difference in gender is not as high in developing regions where it is 88 men per 100 women. In less developed regions, the projected sex ratio in 2050 is 87 for people aged 60 and above and 63 for group of 80 years of age and above. However, in developed regions, the sex ratio is 2050, is projected to be 78 among people above 60 years and 56 among people above 80 years of age. Now let us look at the demographic changes in population. The projected demographic changes in population put India as the most populous country of the world with 1.6 billion in 2050 as compared to 400 million in 2010. So we are going to increase by millions, we are going to become 1.6 billion by 2050. China who is leading the world in population size with 1.4 billion at present and India is just behind with 1.2 billion population 
will cross the population size of China by 2050 with the increase of only 25 million in population size of China. But we will leave China behind. Fortunately, the higher population size of India in combination with the low dependency rate in 2050 opens the gate for ample opportunities of economic growth. Nigeria is projected to be the third most populous country with 440 million in 2050 of the world by replacing US population which is 401 million in, by 2050. This increase in median of population is the reflection of rise in population aged above 65 years. Japan is heading the world in older population with 36.5% increase in proportion. Italy and Spain are following him with 33.0% to 34.5% respectively. Europe is likely to have one third of its population aged 65 and above by 2050. The estimated rise in the older population of India by 2050 is 12.7% as compared to 5.1% in 2010. That means in the year 2010, we have the people of older population, the proportion of older population only 5.1%. However, by 2050, that is 2050, we, it will increase, it will shoot up with 12.7%. This is a very big jump. In 1950, one person in 50 was aged 60 and above. This ratio increased to 1 in 9 by 2000. And it is projected that in 2050, one in 5 people will be 60 and above years of age. In 2050, Japan is projected to have 1 in 3 people 80 and above years of age. It is estimated by these values that 57% of the total aged population in the world will be of 80 years and above. Approximately, it is 10 million people. In 2000, world population of sanitarians were 18 lakhs. By 2050, it is projected to be to 3.2 million. The major proportion of sanitarians live in more developed regions of the world and same trend is projected for 2050 also. This is a one of the big reason to be worried by the developed nations, especially Europe because Europe is aging faster. The demographic changes are often linked to economic growth prospects of any country. India, Kenya, Nigeria are projected to have high population of young people who constitute the working class expected to be at advantage. However, the economy doesn't flow by itself. They have to prepare a positive environment for the growth and development of the youth. For example, as per the WHO report, India is facing the problem of malnutrition and education. Therefore, these nations have the challenge of providing infrastructure, schools, colleges, factories to fulfill the demands of rising young population. On the other hand, countries with higher proportion of older people reflect the health status of older people. For example, in US, the social security age is now 65, which was 60 years earlier, as well as they do not have retirement age now. That is why people who can work till they find themselves capable of working are increasing in number. Now, it is because of the good health, old age is more a social concept now in America. Immigrations can also provide solution to workforce problems of countries like Japan, Italy and Spain etc. Along with enhanced technology, therefore the demographic projections give alarm to nations to rethink 
about the present policies and formulate effective plans to cope up with the projected changes. Let us summarize the entire chapter. This module has mainly focused on how the shape and size of population is changing. Aging is an inevitable process. All the countries of world are greying. The rapidly decreasing rate of mortality and fertility has posed a challenge of increasing older population worldwide. This chapter is an attempt to understand the distribution of aged population on the basis of birth rate and mortality rate, dependency and sex, and sex ratio, life expectancy and change in age structure because these factors change the shape of any society. Birth rate is the ratio of total life births to total population in a specified community or area over a specified period of time, often expressed as the number of live births per 1000 of the population per year. Globally, the birth rate increases in proportion to death rate and mortality rate or death rate is a measure of number of deaths in general or due to specific causes in a particular population scaled to size of that population per unit of time. At present, China has the highest population in the world. However, Japan is leading the world in older population. Europe is aging faster than Asia and Middle East countries. Growing population of older people raised the problem of higher dependency and shortage of workforce in many countries. Older women outnumber population of older men around the globe. Life expectancy refer to the number of years a person is expected to live on the basis of a statistical average. Life expectancy varies by geographical area and by era. In the bronze era, for example, life expectancy was 26 years, while in 2010 it was 67 years. With the advancement of technology and medical sciences, people are expected to live longer than before. Increase in awareness and healthy lifestyle, medical facilities, healthy and friendly environment, good sanitations, hygiene, people are living longer than before.